Huge changes coming to Raw and SmackDown. Details on AEW. No, hang on. Let's try again. Yeah. Details on AEW's new media deal revealed. <laughs> Alexa Bliss returning to the uh, yeah. imminently. Thunder Rosa dealing with a concussion. WWE announced the return of Saturday night's main event. Yes, get in. Is that a thing? Oh. Is a thing? Yeah. New Bloodline member set to debut at Bad Blood. What? When's all this coming up? Right fucking now. Yes, it is. We've got some news. We have everyone's got some pro- news. Everyone's probably like, yeah, we heard about this like a week ago, but well, we, we weren't here a week ago. We were going to do Where this a week ago and it didn't happen. But the one you'll all know about. So Raw's moving to two hours. It's no longer going to be three hours. Where are we going to put Raw Underground? Oh, wait. <laughs> but to be fair, we'll get on to that because um, it's been three hours for a while now and the roster is pretty big on Raw. And um, you have to wonder whether some of the, you know, like your Tazawas and people like that are just... Bigger on Raw is in a t-shirt, I'm surprised. Mm. Sorry, come mm. um, But yeah, I'd be surprised if you like to your Tazawas and people like that and they were getting featured quite prominently, yeah. Will, anymore because... Mm. Less time, less money, less money, less exposure. We're, we're going to see some more like uh, roster adjustments, let's say. Well, I don't know because there was also rumors that SmackDown would extend to three hours. Just, just yeah, half an hour. <laughs> um, but that's not going to be the case oh, okay. either. But um, as we know, Raw is going to move to Netflix in well, the start of the start of the month, mm-hmm. not the year, not the month, start of the year, start of the year. Um, but no one knows yet whether or not they're going to no stick it to, whether they're going to move to three. I've heard that they're actually going to be a bit, because they'll, they're on the Netflix deal, that they're going to have a bit more, they want. they're going to have a bit more freedom over one the One episode could be two hours 30. Maybe. The other one's yeah. be two hours And they, they felt that that would add to the unpredictability of like, well, yeah. you know, this match is going to happen and we'll be here till it finishes kind of mentality, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, I, can, um, I can see that. Yeah. Happening, that to be fair. So, you know, some, one week it might be two hours 10. <laughs> Um, well, Triple H just like discussed the challenges of writing a three-hour, you know, oh. TV episode. Well, I think the, the challenge is, right, is like, I get why they needed the three hours because you've got to do your normal show, yeah? Mm. And then you've somehow got to get the Terror Twins in the ring and then you've got to get the Judgment Day yeah. or Street Trash as they're now emblazoned on their T-shirts and you've got to get them to attack the Terror Twins. And if we don't do that every week, how are people even going to know what's wrong? Oh, yeah, that is true. Um, That's right. I'm gonna bitch like everyone else. I'm gonna bitch what? like everyone else because we've seen it twice and now we're upset. <laughs> well, that was raw, yeah. yeah. So stuff what people may not know about on the SmackDown side of things. So apparently, there's a continued effort to um, keep giving that sport like feel to SmackDown. Um, and if anyone who saw the premiere, it's now moved off Fox onto USA. I don't know why I'm talking so much with my hands, but we'll just go with it. Um, but uh, they had like special. Like celebrities and former wrestlers and stuff in the crowd and stuff. So apparently that may actually continue. Um, but we're also likely to see some higher caliber matches taking place, more important um, promos and more exposure of characters like Roman Reigns and Logan Paul. Because obviously it's gone from Fox where they were getting like 2 million views and now it's on to USA Network where they're not going to be getting 2 million views. So the belief is that you want to kind of do what they can to keep healthy numbers for SmackDown. So, SmackDown so might spend be money good. to make money. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Right. So, uh, we might be eating well, basically, for, on the SmackDown side for the okay. next couple of months. Okay. Okay. But another interesting note is um, so, typically for matches, they will list a producer for the match, or like, like usually like a road agent who's like helped put the match together. Mm-hmm. They've now started putting writers associated to segments as well. So that could mean that there's going to be some more kind of structured promos taking place and things like that, which Anthony's clearly... They've gone well in the past. Very interested in. The stick-to-the-script mentality has gone very well in the past. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine for some people like Drew and, and stuff like that, they'll just let him kind of roll with it because he's Drew and he does what he wants. Mm-hmm. But then for it's others, the I think they would... <laughs> Whatever Drew says. <laughs> they would clearly benefit from it, but... Interesting, they, they continue to make so many changes, I guess, um, mm. to the shows. But I'll give give it to Trips. He's not frightened to make change. He's not. And a lot of people are like really praising him at the minute, so to, to be willing to sort of carry on going, well, let's keep things fresh and keep things changing. 
at a time when you could try and play it safe and rest on your laurels. You know, I kind of admire that. Huh? I rest on laurels, though. That comfy. is true. Very comfy. Very comfy things. But you're happy that Raw's going to be down, down to two hours? Yeah. Is that a good move? I mean, I, I think so. I think it'll make it punchier. Pretty punchy enough. It's a wrestling yeah. show. Like, you know, as long as they're not like, well, we just need more people like Braun Breaker because he's quite quick. <laughs> get around so the ring a lot faster. You know? They're just going to get all your favourites yeah. and make sure that they get, they get featured every week. Just like you want. And you know what? We're sending loads of people to NXT at will. Like, oh, look, it's CM Punk. Why? Yeah, it's just because. Yeah. But it's definitely just a developmental show and definitely not trying to Oh, 100%. Really. 100%. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I think we might start seeing more stuff like that. So obviously Roman's going to be kicking around for a while now. Crown mm-hmm. Jewel's coming up and stuff as well. So we'll be yeah. there for that. Logan Plus Paul, we've got to build on this. I think they the realised that maybe Solo's not the draw he was, so. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, so Give big changes. Jacob. Give us Jacob. Big changes <laughs> are coming. Yes, they are. Speaking of big changes, Carl. Mm. Speaking of people who are coming. <laughs> Tony Khan's very happy man oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, so it, rumor has it that the Warner Brothers Discovery deal with AEW is nearing its conclusion. Interestingly, um, it may. It, it sounds like it's going to be quite a pleasing deal at the, at the, at the end of it. Uh, Money-wise, allegedly not quite what... Um, Tony, that's his name. Mr. Khan. Not quite what Tony was after. But um, they've... Part of the new deal, they've struck a, a deal to hold the pay per view. To hold them, hold them. <laughs> uh, hold them. I, I, I'm going to go into a Beyonce song if you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll so so some that. of the pay per view efforts are going to be, uh, or maybe all of, will be going on to Max. We need to get some detail on that. But um, is it going to be offered on their streaming service as part of the deal? And is that going to be a separate uh, deal? It seems like it's a separate deal. It seems like so there's, there's a like bit TV, more freedom TV involved then, in this because like, because they've got. Sort of, this new contract is not restricting them just to discovery. Which uh, obviously, some of the other elements of this is that rumor has it they're in discussions with Fox to have a show on FS1. Uh, rumor has it this show is going to be called Shockwave. I think some of us have seen essentially fan made um, graphics out there. I don't know if there's any proof that they're legit, but seen some Shockwave stuff going on. But that that name seems to be the rumored uh, one for this alleged new show. That's going to be on Fox, so they'll be covering more than just Discovery. Um, but the downside, Carl, the downside is that this may see the end of that other show that they do that isn't Collision or Dynamite. This is Rampage, baby! <laughs> yeah. I, I remember when that was the best hour of wrestling TV. Yeah, and we were praising it because they were so they made that use of that hour so well, and here we are. Well, anyway, all good news on the TV front. This could actually, I think the way one of the articles I read was phrasing it was like, this may make them profitable. <laughs> like, that's good. That's always a good yeah. thing. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's going to be quite a lucrative deal. Fair play. Fair play to them. Uh, it's crazy to me that they have been around longer than WCW, like the WCW Nitro deal at this point. So, I know. It's crazy, that, isn't it, Eric? That's mental. Eric. Yeah, Eric. Crazy. Uh, so... Yeah, fair play to them, and well done. Or well, hopefully their product continues. Well, hopefully it improves because it continues to improve. That's not right. Let's hope it improves. Gets back to what it was. Um, speaking of getting back to what it was, yeah, miss a bit of bliss. Do you miss a bit of bliss? Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, we may not have to miss Miss Bliss. It's like Doctor Zeus. <laughs> Did um, you miss Bliss? <laughs> <laughs> we may not have to miss Miss Bliss uh, for much longer because anyone who saw the latest um, Wired 6 QR code will have seen that there's another website you can go to with more hidden spooky things. And one of them, um, one of the entries in the, the journal on that website is entitled She. And uh, when you click on it, it says, When she speaks, mountains should tremble. It's waiting for her. I can only open the door. She must choose to walk through. Which everyone's now gone. Alexa's oh, coming back. I mean, it'd be. Do we call it long term storytelling? Because before she left, she was involved in a storyline with the. The Bean. Not the Bean. The, yeah. uh, Uncle Howdy. Was, if you recall, he was briefly stalking her on Raw before she ended up taking time off. Really? Yeah. I blanked the fuck that, that out. Yeah, they didn't really do a lot with it. I think because obviously she ended up taking time out with the pregnancy and they're like. But, um, I, she, I, can't, I completely spaced on the fact she ever came back. That's my bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, the last I remember was when she was in that giant like Jack in the Box thing at WrestleMania or wherever it was. And it was yeah. like... I mean, you can check. Well, maybe oh, I'll, I'll like, tell you where. For... I'm confident she had some dealings with Uncle I'm, Howdy, so I'm, finishing that would be... I'm losing like, my mind. Like good. 
Yeah. Um, would be most good. Yeah. Yeah. But um, is this too many parts in the Lion 6? Well, it's an extra one. I mean, that makes six, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, so kind, of, quite kind of adds up. Yeah. But obviously, there's history there with uh, Nikki Cross and old, uh, and old Lexi mm-hmm. as well. So hmm. mm-hmm. it could make sense, I think. Old Bliss Cross. It's a strange one with, with Alexa Bliss, though, isn't it? Because she was good as just being... Like, what, what was a gimmick before she was like, you know... What would you call it, a gimmick? I don't know, the goddess or something she was called, wasn't she? Yeah, but well, I mean, like, how would you describe her gimmick? Like, she had, like, an aura about it, didn't she? She had a yeah. lot of confidence about it. She was a great champ. But I don't know what you'd weird, call it. Weird, wrist, wrist, pro- thing. weird yeah. wrist problem. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, since she went to this whole thing, are you definitely going to bring the doll back? Hopefully not. Mm. I mean, they want merch, don't they? So maybe. <laughs> maybe. But, yeah, I think uh, if she's ready to come back, I think it will be only a good thing. So, yeah. Mm. Let's hope we get some bliss. Indeed. A moment of bliss. A moment. Fact. Just a moment. Just a moment of like bliss. Like Randy. Mm. That was such a good meme. <laughs> that was so well done. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we should come back to no, it. I think the Yowie Wowie one was funny. Yeah. That was also good. We used to make good memes. We did. Yeah. Now we make We'll do that memes. again sometime. <laughs> so, Carl, a friend of the show, mm. Thunder Rosa, has um, confirmed, unfortunately, that she is actually in the middle of, in the middle of Currently suffering with a concussion, maybe out for a few weeks. Um, this seems to have come on the back of um, her, I think her last match was the Fatal 4-Way match that she had. For the number one contenders. Yeah. Mm. With, uh, it was Ishida, um, I'm trying to remember the other parties, which is a pain in the ass, isn't it? Diana, yeah. Diana was in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it seems like in possibly in that match or uh, sort of around the time of that match, she suffered a concussion. Which is why we've not seen her on TV recently, and it seems that like obviously, I'm not trying to go. Oh, it's only a concussion, but it's like it's not something that'll put her out for long term. But it seems like she's gonna have a few more weeks just to yeah. play it safe, and you do have to play it safe with CTA. So yeah, yeah. Do you know what? What do you make of her kind of her run since she's come back? Because obviously she was absolutely killing it, and she had the you know amazing match with Brit and stuff like that. Then she was on for a long time injury hiatus. And she came back and we were made up and then she's not really done a whole lot, actually. To be honest, I struggle a lot with, with um Tony or whoever's booking, to be honest, because I get that he's got like people who he's concentrating on and I cannot knock what he's doing with the women's division in terms of Tony Storm and Mariah May and, and all that kind of stuff because that's been absolute gold. But there's so many talented women there, like Thunder, like Diana. Um and well even yeah, she there like she hasn't really had to, yeah obviously she's been involved in a few matches but she hasn't been able to do a lot and it's like no one's really getting a push you know to get matches mm. here and there but no one's really getting a push the same way like there's some proper long term storytelling there with Tony and Mariah yeah you know and it doesn't seem to be happening a lot is next uh, closest thing to a long term story for the women's division is probably Mercedes and you know the fans mm. are quite polarised on that just because they seem to want to hate Mercedes for some reason. Yeah. There needs um, to be more of that across all, all of wrestling, really. There needs yeah. to be more women's kind of undercurrent. Like, mm. it's not just about the title picture. But it's my, I always praised AEW for having a women's mid-card, mm. but it doesn't seem to help. Does that yeah. make any sense? Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem to help the storytelling. It's not really... We're still, not, we're still only really concentrating on the main title. It's not really done the job of elevating anybody. No, because like you can't really say, oh well, oh, this this person was going after the TBS title for a while, has now stepped up and gone for yeah. the well, TBS title hasn't really been like obviously it's been there and it's been used, but has it ever been used as well as they did with Jade? But even that though, they used it with Jade, and then further she put over Chris Statlander twice on her way out, but it was never like a stepping stone. You know what I mean? She never mm-hmm. elevated to the next. Well, no, because it, it was yeah, it was very much its own thing, wasn't it? Of going. Mm-hmm. You know who's going to throw Jade, and then yeah. Statlander did, and then you say, "Well, we didn't put her in the main title picture." No, she's since lost and the Mercedes title, come in so... and then she's just holding the belt now. Yeah. It's like it's, so. Yeah. She might be the first one, though. To be fair, it might be when she loses that she steps up and goes to the other one. Maybe, but, yeah. But I don't mm. know. It's um, yeah. It's it is like you say. I, I'm a massive fan, fan of Thunder. For those who have been watching the show for years, be well aware of that. So, you know, I think I think she should be in the main title picture again. I think there should Agreed. be more going on there. But um, for whatever reason, they're just not telling that story just yet. No. Which is a crying shame. 
It is indeed. Well, yeah, hopefully she rests up, comes back again, um, even better, and gets the, the chance that we believe she deserves. Damn right. Um, being the things that are coming back, Friday well, Night's main event, an oldie staple of the classic uh, golden era, is returning to our screens. So this is different to main event. <laughs> yeah. It's a really good point, that, to be fair. <laughs> Isn't it, though? It was like, is, is main event still a thing? Does that exist anywhere? I think, I think maybe. Mm. But, yeah, it's kind of strange. But, like, Saturday Night's main event was the shit back in the day. It was like, it's a television special, but it's almost like a pay-per-view in its own right. Do you know what I mean? But you didn't have to pay for it. So it's like, yeah, this is amazing. So, depending on what they do with it, if you look at the promo material they've put out there, they've got... Can I ask? What? Given the era, Dusty Rhodes was on it quite a lot, yeah? Mm, probably. So, Cody's going to mention his dad quite a lot. Probably. I mean, even so, if he wasn't. I mean, yeah, a, oh, I need this pay per view to do that. Even yeah, fair enough. Wasn't. But uh, yeah, you look at them, the promo material for it. They've got Cody, they've got Roman, Bianca, Liv, and Seth Freakin' Rollins all highlighted. Now, Seth's out with an injury at the minute, so maybe he'll be back in time for this. But I mean, you know it what? It will take place. Saturday night's all right for fighting, though, isn't it? So. <laughs> well, so yeah, someone's already doing that. Oh, they changed it, though, didn't they? Collision hasn't even got that theme song anymore. Oh. Now it fucking sucks. Sorry, Mikey Ruckus, it was you that did it, but it fucking sucks. Um, uh, I mean, we have faith in Ruckus more so than oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Death Rebel. Oh yeah, but uh, that wasn't in the news. It looks like they're getting fired. Doesn't mean they're all going to be hits. You know? yeah. I'm so glad they're going. to I mean, ah, no, <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's that sounds, sounds so bad. mean. But yeah. they were they they just the, 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 themes, the themes just haven't hit since. Jim, come back, Jim. Oh, Jim, please. I don't know where you are right now. <laughs> just, just come home. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah, apparently they're going to go for like um, actual. Bands doing the themes like the old days, like if it's like so- there physically or <laughs> well, no, obviously not. You dig, but no, they've done that before. Yeah, but like at WrestleMania, you're not gonna be every week, is it? Can I? Yeah, they could have an in-house band. It could be like uh, Leno, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Leno. That's a, that's a reference and a half. I'm trying it? to think How of many what. Years Leno? Look, I don't watch a lot of, funnily enough, American nighttime it fucking now, is entertainment it? shows because. That's like four in the fucking morning, right? Oh yeah, so, there is that. But was it? Was it, did Fallon take over Leno? Wasn't there like a load of controversy over this? I don't know. Like, well, did, didn't fucking... didn't Conan technically take over Leno? Am I am I? I'm, so, I'm sorry, it America. I'm getting this wrong. But didn't he take over Leno? But then he kind of got screwed over because then they made, like, sort of made another show. So he didn't really take over Leno, but he was meant to be the right. original. I. I could have it wrong, but there's some shit that went on there. That's why yeah. you have the Conan show. Yeah. Or something. Like, we'll, we'll look into that one. We'll do a deep dive yeah. one day. Is that no. even going anymore? I don't even know if that's going. Yeah, Conan's still going. Conan's yeah. still going? Yeah. Is it? I thought he was, like, off doing, like, specials in the wild. Conan's, Conan's a ledge. Conan is a ledge. You see his Hot Ones episode? Yeah. The fucking madman. He's a fucking madman, but he's, he's a ledge. Mother. And most of the best writing that The Simpsons ever had was Conan. Yeah, it was. Just for the record. And do you know who isn't a good talk you know what show? was a good season of Simpsons? Fucking three through 12 and nothing else. Just saying. Okay. Do you know who uh, who isn't got a good talk show? That fat pussy James Gordon. Oh yeah, he was in uh, Cats on here. He was, yeah. As well. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, sidebar. Uh, but apparently he's a horrible fucking person. Apparently so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now he's come back through Gavin's day thing. Yeah, like, because really everyone's excited. like, isn't he a dick? And then he's like, no, no, look, remember the show that you liked? Yeah. That, that's all it is. Little prick. Anyway, um, Saturday night's main event is coming back, and I'm excited for it. It's going to be back on December the 14th on Saturday. Nice. I don't know how that works. But it's beginning to look like Christmas. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. I'm just going to go back over here. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas then. It is. Yeah. It is. I like or something. It. Something or some like shit. That. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it'll be coming to NBC. So I don't know when we'll get to see it or how we get to see it, but maybe on BT. Well, like TNT. Totally legal streams. Of yeah, course. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, Netflix, probably. Just lump everything on Netflix. Fuck it. Who cares? Too soon. That's how the UK is doing it. Might be a little teaser we get, a little mm. sampler. Well, I wonder whether they're not going to do a pay per view in December. And so instead, they're like, we'll have Saturday night's main event. Be nice for the stars as well, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Maybe they'll just get to have Christmas off for once. Mm. Be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sorry, little Jimmy. <laughs> I've got to go to work. That's just Rikishi, you know. Uh, I'm sure Cody will tell us all about how he was able to come <laughs> home for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Going on about his watch again. Stuff. Wife got me a Rolex. I got her a Rolex. Yeah. 
we got the baby roller. Like, Why? <laughs> That's gonna have, right. I I guarantee that kid's got a fucking Rolex. Oh, 100 percent Red bottom shoes. Hundred yeah. percent. Little red bottom booties. Yeah. Red bottom booties. <laughs> Love it. Um yeah, I'm excited for this. It's got if they treat it as almost like a pay per view, but on you know, as a television special, I'm sure it will do very, very well. I'm excited to see what so, uh, can't, you just the description of that's just brilliant. They treat it like a pay-per-view, but on television. I love it. It's like, yeah, of course you can. Well, exactly. It's like, it was like, it's that like main event. And it's like, I don't know. Like main event. Braun Strowman <laughs> versus fucking... It's like, wait, this is more like Sunday Night Heat. You can't con me. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, so watch out for that. Indeed. Speaking of things to watch out for, Carl. <laughs> oh. Rumour has it. Mm. A new member of the Bloodline, potentially... Could be debuting at Bad Blood, potentially. So it seems that Hikaleo. Hikaleo. <laughs> it's Elio, and so Leo. Hikaleo. Hikaleo. I'm going to go with Hikaleo. Um, apparently, he's been... Taller, taller Tonga. Taller Tonga. Apparently, he's been signed with WWE for several months, according mm. to, I want to say, Dave Meltzer. I Maybe Corny. Signing. But... <laughs> like, rumor has it. To the best of my knowledge. <laughs> Plans change. Plans change. Um... But yeah, so rumor has it he's been signed with them for some time, but they've been holding off on his debut to do it at the correct time. So it's not like let's just get him in the ring because we own him. Uh, can they say own? Like I don't know. They pay them, right? <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a very Vince McMahon thing to say. Yeah, I went bit, with it. Sorry, bit, yeah. right? But um, by all accounts, they're waiting for the right opportunity. And the reason I say potentially with the bloodline is because they're saying that maybe. He's not necessarily going to be with the bloodline. The logic mm. would have it that he joined his brothers, but is that when you've got a super expectation and he's someone who comes to the aid of Roman instead? Whoa. So just saying, just saying, you heard it here first, second, third maybe? Probably like 10th now. Tenth. Whoa, Probably we've heard 10th. it. We've said it. But, uh, but yeah, so we could be seeing more bloodline. Even more bloodline. Even bad blood. more. Bad bloodline. Bloodline gets bloodier. Yeah, bad blood's a good place to do stuff with the bloodline, huh? It is, it is. It's not, their pay view at this point. I mean, we'll end up covering, me. is it next week? I can't remember. We'll check our schedule, but we're going to do some bad blood predictions soon. But I'm interested to see how this Cody Roman partnership plays out, to be fair. Mm. It's just like that, uh, in Avengers, isn't it? Teaming up with the bad guy. I know, right? Things you got to do. Yeah, Hikaleo, Tola Tonga. We may see him at bad blood. Um, and you may see Anthony is wearing a wonderful t-shirt from our pals at the Hot Tag Foundation. Indeed. You should check them out. They will be linked on the podcast in this video. Um, yeah, check them out. They yeah. have got the Toil Rumble coming up. Indeed, indeed. So they are raising, well, well, raising donations of toys, of memorabilia, all that good stuff to um, send across to some kids who need some yeah. heroes this time of year. Potentially, yeah. A wonderful cause by some wonderful people. So... Check them out, man. Check them out, man. Um, and, yeah. What else? What else do we normally say? We've missed a week or two. I forgot yeah. what we even do. Click stuff. Click stuff, like stuff. Click the thumbs up one. I click yeah. whatever the fuck you want. It's all engagement. Yeah, do it. Just click anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Click skip ads because we know they're annoying. <laughs> do that. Definitely click do that. that. Um, and, yeah. Click on to the next video, which will be playing somewhere around here now. And we will catch you on the next one.